fascinating story unfolds in real life. Born during World War II in the Netherlands, our next guest made his way across the U.S., lives in Michigan, and is a TV star in his own right. You may have seen his show on National Geographic's Wild, but he joins us right now. Uh, Jan Pohl, thank you so much for this great book. And what do you wish most vets would learn from you into their practice? Uh, I am a down-to-earth veterinarian, and you know I'd like to get the, the best results for the least amount of money. I like to help the people. Uh, Michigan is a little depressed financially, I guess, so many people cannot afford the expensive treatment for their dogs, so we try to help them out because I still think everybody should be able to have a pet because they are so important in human lives. Uh, kids should go up with, with dogs and cats. First of all, if they're very young, their allergies will be a lot less. Second of all, it teaches them to take care of animals. It gives them responsibility. That's why I like 4-H too. I love going to the county fair and seeing those 4-H kids, girls and boys, bring the animals that they've groomed so well and raised, particularly the little ones that bring in those like 2,000 pound heifers. But uh, let's move on to your success. Tremendous, the book, the TV show, your practice. You're amazing with animals. Your stories are hilarious. But given your tremendous success, Jan, what advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams? Be very honest with yourself. Be very honest to the people. Uh, do not uh, tell them things that are not true or say something, oh yeah, your pet is going to be fine. And you know, two weeks later, the pet dies for no reason whatsoever. Try to be very honest with the people and they will be honest to you. Well, I love that honest advice. Um, but Jan, uh, before we go, I mean, clearly you've had a successful practice. Uh, have you ever thought of retiring? What keeps you going? Yeah, but listen, we are uh, in a free country here and you can retire when you want to, not when you have to. And this is what I like about America, the freedom. And let's keep that. But anyway, yes, I like my job. And as long as I can do it, I'd like to keep going. And finally, Jan, I've got to ask, you've had a beautiful marriage. I know you courted her on a black stallion when you proposed. But uh, what's the key to a great marriage? Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Two words. Two words. But yes, there again. Think about uh, what you would do to the other. And get along is just giving in and helping each other out. Diane has worked with me in the clinic for 34 years, and we get along just fine. <laughs> that is so endearing. We love your story. Congratulations on the brand new book. I highly encourage everyone to get it. It's a great read. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Khan.